If you're wondering if the title of this video is clickbait, it is not. I've just spent 28 thousand Australian dollars, which is about 21,000 US dollars on all of the brand new 2021 MacBook Pros. And guys, I want you to get down in the comment section. Let me know what you want to see, what kind of comparisons, benchmarks or tests you want to see. Because if you don't, I'm going to go broke. I'm going to have to sell a kidney. I'm going to be homeless and I'm probably not going to be able to feed my cat. Speaking of my cat, let me just go get her. I'll be back in one second. She's getting a bit fat. So you can probably tell she's looking a little bit chubby right now. So we could probably go a few weeks without some food. But guys, also get down in the Discord. I'll link it down below and in the description of this video. If you want to have a more in-depth conversation and what kind of testing you want to see, as you can see here, I have all of the M1 Macs, the previous generation. I've also got some Windows PCs. Right here is a Razer Blade 14. I'm gonna be doing a lot of different benchmarking. So it's gonna be quite exciting stuff. Yes, 30K Australian dollars is a lot of money. A house deposit in some countries or a brand new car or paying off multiple credit cards or buying 10 or 15 more cats. Anyway, I don't regret my decision at all and I'll show you guys why in just one week. Now, in case you're wondering, here's a list of all the different variants I've purchased. You can see I went pretty heavy on the lower end of the budget, centered mainly around the 14 inch MacBook Pros because not many people are gonna be buying the 16 inches because they are a lot of money. So you'll see I'm gonna be doing some 16 versus 32 gigabyte RAM comparisons, the base model M1 Pro chip compared with the base model M1 Max, some eight versus 10 core CPU, and also some GPU core comparisons as well. I'm also gonna be comparing the base model 14 inch to the base model 16 inch. And I've also got a fully specced out 16 inch almost 6,000 Australian dollars. God, it hurts to say that. And that's gonna be coming in about two weeks. So that's gonna be a really exciting thing to see. Now guys, if you are worried about myself or the cat's financial situation after such a big purchase, 30,000 Australian dollars is a lot of money. Please don't be worried. We do appreciate the concern. However, this was a calculated purchase for the business slash company which we use to run this particular YouTube channel. It was paid for in cash, no credit cards or debt or anything like that. So please don't be worried. Now, before we get into some more details, I just wanna talk about the absolute smorgasbord that was the event yesterday. So I stayed up until 4 a.m. my time to watch it. And I'm glad I did because the amount of features they packed into these bad boys is pretty crazy. So we got HDMI and SD card ports, MagSafe, mini LED, and ProMotion screen, a 1080p webcam upgrade, and not one, but two new Apple Silicon chips. And we got the notch, which I personally quite like. The touch bar was removed, which I know some people aren't a fan of, but for me personally, I'm glad I never used it. But for you artists and people out there who like to skip YouTube ads using the touch bar, Maybe you'll miss it, but who knows? But in this video, I'm not gonna go too much into detail on the event. All I wanna say is that I'm really, really happy and pleased to see that Apple is now listening to consumers or their customers because pretty much every single feature that they just updated the MacBook with, we've been asking for for years. So I'm pretty excited to see what the future will hold. And one quick note though, before I stop talking about this, those particular charts that Apple displayed comparing to existing processors and GPUs on the market, a lot of people don't believe that, but don't forget that Apple did this last year and it all turned out to be true. So stay tuned for next week and we'll find out together. Now, the keen-eyed among you would have seen the word giveaway in the title of this video. And long-term fans of the channel, I say long-term, this channel's only been around around 12 months, but you guys will remember that I did do an Apple Silicon giveaway earlier this year. So I just wanted to let you know, I am thinking of doing something similar this year, some kind of Apple Silicon Mac giveaway. But if I do decide to go ahead with it, I will give you guys more details as soon as I can. But once again, guys, smash that comment section and jump into the Discord. Let me know what you want to see. 
I've obviously shown you guys the variants I have purchased that are coming in very, very soon. So hopefully there's gonna be enough content for you to look at and perhaps influence your own decision on your own 2021 MacBook Pro. But enough from me and the cat, I think she's over there somewhere. We'll catch you next week. Thank you.